We continue our study through the book of Revelation this morning, looking in Revelation chapter 9 at the sixth trumpet. Remember the last three trumpets go together as three woes, even as the first four trumpets went together as kind of preliminary judgments of God. So we're looking at the sixth trumpet and its effects as that's recorded for us in Revelation chapter 9, verses 13 to 21. Let us now give our careful attention to this reading of God's inspired, fallible, and inerrant word from Revelation 9, beginning at verse, six, verse 13. Then the sixth angel blew his trumpet, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. So the four angels who had been prepared for the hour, the day, the month, and the year were released to kill a third of mankind. The number of mounted troops was twice 10,000 times 10,000. I heard their number. And this is how I saw the horses in my vision and those who rode them. They were, wore breastplates of the color of fire and sapphire and of sulfur. And the heads of the horses were like lion's head and fire and smoke and sulfur came out of their mouths. By these three plagues, a third of mankind was killed by the fire and smoke and sulfur coming out of their mouths. For the power of the horses is in their mouths and in their tails, for their tails are like serpents with heads, and by means of them they wound. The rest of mankind... 